All right, well, this broadcast is going to be a little different than my other ones. I'm going to practice a five-minute Ignite presentation, and that's where I get to display exactly 20 slides set to automatically advance, whether I'm ready or not, every 15 seconds. And this one is going to be about, of all things, domain names. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll take questions at the end, but uh, let's get started. I know it, it is kind of brave to do this with, uh, with 15 seconds, whether I go or not. Okay, so here I go. I'm not going to be clicking. I've set my slides to automatically advance. So I would like to spend five minutes talking about something you use every day, and that's domain names. So let's dig into domains. <laughs> Domains are part of every URL that you enter, and uh, we use a lot of different URLs in one day. The very first domain name I ever registered was planetfifth.com, <laughs> and there's a picture of me in 1998. Uh, it's my first year of teaching. It led to my class website uh, called Planet Fifth, and .com is by far the most popular uh, top-level domain name. Uh, that's the green uh, chart here. Then uh, .tk is next and .net, but everybody wants a .com name. Even Google, <laughs> they weren't able to register the proper spelling of Google. They, they registered a typo of Google, and uh, that's what we have today because sci uh, URL squatters go out there, domain name squatters go out there, and they uh, buy up tons of domain names in hopes that maybe they sell one or two for a lot of money. Uh, there's this article about this guy who uh, buys an average of 300 domain names a, uh, a month and earns like half a million dollars a month on that. So we're reduced to having websites like this, especially for educators of words that are not quite English words, but so they can get a .com, they have some interesting spellings. I looked it up and if you remember Remind 101 is this texting service and they became Remind and they bought Remind, I, this is actually pretty reasonable, for $38,000 for that domain name. Now I spent $10 on PlusTony.com uh, a few years ago when I wanted it to be easier to get to my Google Plus page. So I just bought PlusTony.com and redirected it to um, my Google Plus. But dot coms aren't the only thing that's out there. There's dot us for a country code. There's even dot me for Montenegro, which used to be part of Yugoslavia. Um, there's Italy, there's the state of Palestine and, and others. Uh, so, so I bought Tony V dot me. I like it because it rhymes and I use it for my URL shortener. Then, uh, so, it, so it's not a, a dot com, but some people have some really interesting .coms. I really respect domain names that, that do exactly what they say, like down for everyone or just me .com. <laughs> you type in a web address to see if it's just you or down for everyone, like the .com says. Or if you're wondering how secure your password is, there's how secure is my password .net. Uh, type in a, a theoretical password and see how long it would take to crack. And then uh, going from .coms and .nets, there's .it, and there's some pretty neat things. Here's a just paste.it, and it's a website you don't even have to log into. You go there, you paste what you want, and you get a URL that's at just paste.it. So if you want to register a domain name, you, uh, some places you can do this at, and there's lots of registrars out there, is uh, godaddy.com and hover.com. If you use GoDaddy, go find a promo code. I just bought a URL recently for 99 cents, but I'm only renting it. When you buy a domain name, you have to pay the fee every year, or you can pay several years in advance. But what happens is people stop paying the rent, they get evicted from their, do their domain name, and somebody else can take it. <laughs> I My website is learninginhand.com, and I just for fun, bought lih.co because it's a lot easier for me to type in when I want to go to my own website. I don't really expect anybody else to use it, but it's another use. When you register a domain name, the slide is in here just to, re to think about 
the domain name and make sure you run it by other people because there's some potential for some unfortunate domain names. <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> and nowadays we have some different uh, extensions and top level domains instead of .com and .net. They've added tons, .rocks, .cool, .sale, .expert. And when you see these, you're gonna probably think that they're not real, but they really are. Uh, for example, this website called Jeopardy Rocks, Jeopardy.rocks. It's not JeopardyRocks.com, it's Jeopardy.rocks. Uh, and so you can play online Jeopardy games there at .rocks. So you could even uh, register things like those. So this is my last slide and it's just telling me maybe next time, maybe uh, another uh, topic could be uh, Wi-Fi hotspot names and how to, <laughs> how to get into fights over Wi-Fi hotspots. Oh, and there are up. So that was just kind of a, a fun little Ignite. You do it for, for exactly five minutes and uh, you realize that in 15 seconds you can only say like a sentence or two and I probably had like five sentences I wanted to say for each slide so when I do it again I have some some tweaking to do uh, so uh, thank you for watching and I'll just wait a second in case there's any any questions that you wanted to ask or any hearts you want to give I'll take those too <laughs> ah, thank you <laughs>Yeah, Megan, uh, definitely love the, th think about these. Think about what you could register, what domains, uh, you know, maybe even in the future, especially with, with using a GoDaddy promo code for getting it for 99 cents for the first year. Um, you can let it go after the first year if you never think you'll use it. But I've registered, I probably have 20 domain names under my name, and that's just because uh, I kind of proactively get some and, and I let them expire later. Yeah, I do. Jenny, I miss everybody at Slide to Learn. So uh, keep, keep sliding and keep learning enough for me. All right, well, it is past my bedtime. I'm here in Tucson for tech camp. And oh, sure. I, I thank you for the positive comments. Uh, I it, it is, like I said, past my bedtime, so I will see you later.